Hey, much love, bro. Appreciate it. Man, like, man. Oh, oh, you know what? Well, I hate more than anything, man. I never got to get on stage with me, Horabella, and Frank Nitty at the same time, man. That shit, that song would have been so legendary, man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, man. Boy, you had a team, boy. Yeah, I, man. I ain't yeah. even bragging. Hey, Mo, you had a team, man. I mean, if anybody would have, you know what I mean? If anything would have fell into place, man, we was ready, you know what I mean? If it's meant to be, it still happen, man. When yeah. invite me to the studio, then yeah. you know I'm coming. Yeah, you know I'm coming. I'm bringing. I'm bringing Horror Bella too. We gonna. We oh, gonna. Man, what Horror Bella, <laughs> man? Anything, come on, man, Horror Bella. You know that's my man, but it's like I said. The thing of it is, man, it, it's a lot of us. We treat it personal. Yeah. We don't. We don't look at it as business. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. It's, it's a too much personal personality and being personal going on out here in the world today. Okay. And, and people really not treating things as business. Okay. So, you know, poor fella, man. Well, you know, I'm a businessman, baby. I'm coming with straight business. Well, business, to, business in a blunt. Business know, in a blunt. You know, we ain't got no time to really, you know what I'm yeah. saying, waste out here, man. We, we are... Time is our greatest commodity. You're right. When you when you really understand that, you really ain't got time I agree. to waste with people that's they want to waste their own time. You can waste your time, but I'm not gonna let you waste mine. I agree. You know what I mean? So I agree. If 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 well, I right. tell you I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. Church. I ain't gonna tell you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, but some people ain't like that. I know. But the, the thing is, Kingpin, you know what I mean? I like to see how y'all get back to producing, man, because that content is where it's at. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like you sitting in front of the camera, that's content. You know what I mean? And you got talent. You can make music. Get, do do that, man, and, and get your money. You know what I'm saying? Do that and get your money. Produce. And, and even if you don't, it, it's just participating in, in the bigger picture, you know what I mean? If you got that charisma, you got that stage present, you can you can make movies. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm ready to get into shit. You know what I mean? Just, I'm ready to get into some shit just, like just, that. You know what I mean? The thing of it is, is, is the game is missing real men. You know what I mean? They, they know how to uh, uh, regulate they, they emotions and they flesh. You know what I'm saying? They know how to uh, be get in order because don't know nothing successful is made without having no order. You can't go, the armies ain't winning no wars unless they got some order. Right. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, anything, you can't build no no skyscraper unless you build it with some, uh, some plans, some orders, some, you know what I mean? Right. Everything that we ain't, you gotta have some order. That's why we ain't winning as people because we ain't got some order. I agree. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm down with you. you talking about you earlier. You, you talking about a food truck. I, I like to invest in a food truck. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm with that shit. So, yeah. so, but I can't invest if I if I don't have nothing to invest in somebody that is, you know what I mean? Right. That's gonna handle that business. And, and you know what I mean? If I can find somebody gonna handle that business, I, I'm willing to invest. But that's that was the idea I had was a food truck. Right. So the thing of it is, instead of us. Competing against each other. Okay, you get a food truck. I get. Why not? Right. You just invest in your food truck, and we both be. Right. Instead of uh, saturating the, the game. Exactly. That, that's just the way I think. I I'm with that shit. Straight so, with that. So what, what what who your top five favorite local artists, dead or alive? No. Oh, why you I do that? Say that? Five. That's tight, ain't it? Damn. Uh -huh. Okay. Or should I say team? Local. We talking about the dot or the dot in Missouri? The, oh, we gonna keep it in the dot? Let's keep it in the dot. Okay, we gonna keep it in the dot. Alright. Uh, oh, man. Hey. Hey, y'all. Hey. Got me. Hey, he got me. He got me. I didn't say best rappers now. I said your favorite. Favorite. Your favorite. My favorite. Let's make it easy. Who your favorite? 
I ain't say the best. You know what I'm saying? Because some, some people could be better than others. I'm saying, who's your favorite? Who you who you be putting in? You know what I'm saying? Dialing, dialing up in your computer, your playlist. Okay. Frank Nitty, of course. Lee Joe, and rest in peace to both of my. R.I.P. Uh, yeah, like it's hard, man. It is. It is. Yeah. Man, you know how I many I brush elbows with. So, uh, top five. D Lock the Gill God. You're a Gill God fan? Yeah, I fucks with him. I've been knowing him for a long time. Young right. no man, Dilemma. I was gonna put the limit in it, but be always out of town. He ain't even really local no more, so <laughs> he, he, he all right. I'm saying he all right. But D Lock, you know what I'm saying? I still be getting in some shows with him and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fucking with uh, you know what I'm saying, Chauncey Claude and you know what I'm saying, them boys, man, they entertainment shit, you know, they keep your career Yeah, like yeah. Uh I got three. Uh your boy Owen Bell in there, man. Man, he is on there. I was gonna say him last because he already got the big head all the time. Man. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna him. say him last because I wanted him to think I was gonna leave him out. <laughs> all right, that's all right, number four is Mr. Horror Bella. Yes, that's my. I still bump his shit. You know what I'm saying? My is a motherfucker, man. That. He does his thing, Mr. man. Ghetto stories. Ghetto stories. Guys. Hell yeah, love my. And uh, if I said number five, and it's a hard one. Man, cause I got so much love. So, man, I love that shit. I'm real supportive, but I would say. I say out of all shit I ever pulled up. I shouldn't have put you in that. I shouldn't have put you in the hot seat. I know, man. I would have to go with the group Ghetto Chaos back in the day. Because okay. I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was from the top half of Chelsea. It's from the bottom half of Chelsea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was on the blood end. Chelsea. You know what I'm saying? So Chelsea play. Shout out to Chelsea. Shout out Chelsea Plaza for life, baby. Yeah, Chelsea Plaza, you know what I mean? We can't forget Gateway, Gateway. Yeah, we can't forget Duncan, in the sandbox. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. New projects, editing, man, shit. What's, what's your fondest memories of growing up in Wyandotte County? What, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, I don't think people, some of these new, younger kids, they never got that experience, that Wyandotte County experience. Right, man. So, I would say, like, it was like high school time. You know what I'm saying? Finally got him his own whip and everything, man. You know what I'm saying? Saturday mornings, you know what I'm saying? I always been a kid at heart. I get up, man. Back then, they had cartoons on all Saturday morning and shit. Like, all morning, like, until, you know what I'm saying? But I get up, you know what I'm saying? Get, get dressed and shit, man. Shoot out to Indian Springs. You know what I'm saying? Go to the Fun Factory, man. Chill out there all day. Till about 7 o'clock in the skate okay. lane. Oh, hell yeah, man. We at the Fun Factory walking through the mall. You know what I'm saying? Might even grab a field or something and switch up. You know what I'm saying? Going to Pearl Pinners. Pinners. Oh, yeah, man. JWs. Man wearing cross colors and shit, goofy ass yeah, shit, bro. Yeah, man, I, I got Italian Delight right there, right That's there, right now. I'm, yeah, yes, we, I got two pies from Italian Delight for the game. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, then just shooting out the skate land, man. And you know what, man? It, it was always, most of the time, it'd be some little shit. You know what I'm saying? After the motherfuckers take their skates off and shit and start dancing, last like 30 minutes to an hour. It's usually some bullshit, but. Man, how, even when it was some bullshit went down, man, how 
everybody used to line up and trail each other because Missouri plugs stay open later. And we all trail, man, the camaraderie, seeing the town, it just made you be proud to be a part of that shit because no matter what happened, when we was at Skateland and shit, Man, when we, when we went over town, everybody was together. Everybody stood together. Everybody parked together. We over here in a whole nother fucking state, man. That shit was dope as fuck to be a part of that shit. Like, that's one of my, man. What's your favorite song off your project? Uh, Fuck Your Mother. I don't know, because, like, I, uh... I really just, I mean, it's just, it's just like, I don't even know if you, if you ask any really famous poet or anything, what's their favorite poem, it's like you really don't have one. It's just like when you write that song, you in the moment of that song, and I might not feel like that no more, maybe never again, so I really don't have no favorite song. I just put my energy in how I feel about the situation, try to cater it to the beat. You know what I'm saying? Right how I feel about it. So, I mean, what, like one song could be my favorite song today, but I might be feeling going through something else tomorrow that I like another song because it touched how I feel. To be able to do that as an artist is like a big part of longevity as an artist. Well, do you have a song that you think your fans but like, you know what I'm saying, they appreciate more and they appreciate the other. Which one is your fans connect with? You know what I mean? When you uh, I don't know. Um I'll tell you what. Be honest. If I did have to pick a top song or favorite, and I mean, like I got hella songs, man, with hella great artists. But it's just something about the way it happened. When I did keep it jumping on Horabella CD because like I went to the studio not even expecting to be on that song. Like he was doing this song, his CD was about to release, like it's about to drop. Like this is the last couple of songs he had. And then the uh the uh the, the skits and shit we did, like we I just it was my first time, you know what I'm saying? I just hooked up, you know what I'm saying? This is the first time I went with y'all and everything. And like, you got in here, he was trying to put something to the song. I was like, I got it first. And you know what I'm saying? And I got on that song and it was one of my proudest moments when I was able to do a real, cause I messed with some other labels and I did some other shows. But it was like a, uh, it was, it was a, the first like professional CD release that I went to and performed and like, you know, we acted the ass and, you know what I'm saying? I, and um, So I think that just kind of, it jolted, you know what I'm saying, me back into the music game because you know what I'm saying? I was I was doing it here and there. And I got to do a song with you and you know what I'm saying? That made me, it sparked something in me. So I would say, keep it jumping on Horabella CD. So you, you was with us up there and speaking. Yes, sir. You don't remember? <laughs> you don't remember? Oh, nobody remembers. <laughs> that was a hell of a night, baby. That was a hell of a night, baby. You got some game to give to these younger generation. What would you say to them? I would say, man, music game and life both itself. It's a roller coaster. It's gonna be ups and downs. It's up to you if you're gonna take the chicken exit or not. If you stick it out, it'll start to pay off for you. Even sometime when it look bad, this is life and music. If you stick with it, it will pay off. Your time will come. And it's just like anything else. You gotta have faith in yourself. If this is what you really want, I don't care what nobody say about you. I don't care, somebody is gonna listen to you. And you're gonna get better if you stick to it. If this is what they really wanna do, and that's for anything in life. If, if that's what you really wanna do, stick to it. Uh, it's gonna look shady sometimes, but shit, just stick to it. It'll work out for you. But can we expect anything from Kingpin in the damn future? 
what's your next project? What we what we looking for at a key fit? Um uh, food truck, uh Yep. Uh entrepreneur. I still got um Borns and Martin LLC. Um uh, me and my homeboy, that's uh we do commercial cleaning, uh clean outs, um, make readies, uh, wall patches, uh, floors, man, all that shit. And then, you know, uh, I got the, uh, new label on the one entertainment. Um, uh, I got a couple of new artists, uh, Sir Spence, um, a couple of old friends. I'm going to let it be a surprise because I want to make sure I don't want to put that out there into everything is everything. But, you know. Uh, but, um, like I said, uh, the food truck, uh, Unks. Uh, Unks food truck? Yeah. What you going to have on that food Unks. truck, man? Um, We're going to have... Uh, Man, we're going to have some, uh, we're going to have some brisket sandwiches. Uh, we got the Big Unks Burger, which is my burger that I designed myself. Uh, we're going to have the, uh, we're going to have the Nephew Burger, which is like part of the kid, you know what I'm saying, for the younger kids. We're going to have stuff for the, uh, quick fix stuff for the kids, so, you know, sometimes you don't want to spend all this money waiting in time, so we're going to have stuff like uh, corn dogs and, um, you know what I'm saying, for the kids. You know what I'm saying? Beef hot dogs. Uh, we got a, a cool little menu. I don't really want to give everything up until I get, like I said, I get everything yeah. said, but we're going to have something for everybody. We got something, though. We're going to have something for okay, everybody. Okay, okay. Um, but- Unk burger, nephew burger, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So, so you gotta you you make a mean burger. Yes, sir. So. Yes, sir. Who? What? What place in town is your top burger spot? Who got the best burger besides? We know the unk burger is gonna be, but who got right. the best besides the unk burger? Who got a good burger? Right now. Yeah. You talking about? Local, local spot, not chain. Okay, no, no chain. Ah, oh, man. Can't go to local. Everybody, if we gonna put it, cause you, you be acting like it's so hard to come up with. We gonna put come it on, man, you be putting me in the spot, yeah, bro. Yeah, everybody, we gonna put everybody. In the spot. <laughs> hey, come on, man. Hey, I still eat at these people's spots. Right now, nah, motherfucker, why you didn't go to there? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Uh. I need me a good burger, man. You talking about right, open right now? I'm just saying. Just Still saying. open or used to be open? Yeah, what's, what's the best burger that you know? What's a good burger you know had? That you know what I'm saying? It's, it's up there. Supreme burger. You know we got a lot of burger. We got a lot of barbecue. We got a lot of burger joints. And not a chain. That's hard. Because like I said. Fire guys. Oh, man. They got a good burger. Yeah, they got a good burger, man. But you know, I'm gonna tell you what's better than Five Guys. That uh, that Smash Burger at Chili's. That motherfucker heat. Smash Burger at Chili's. I just had one like two days ago. Better than Five Guys. Man, hell yeah. Okay, okay, we going Smash. I'm burger. a burger man. I'm a, you a burger man, but it took you that long. Yeah, man, because oh, no. it's hard for me to pick. Cause I gotta stand on that hey, shit. I'm yeah, saying. You're a burger, Hey, I gotta be able to. Hey, I'm just saying. I just had it the other day. I might have just been that hungry, but so that motherfucker burger, was heat. The hunk burger gonna be better than the smash burger. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm, you, you got. got you gotta know the best. You gotta know the best to be able to beat the best, okay, man. They ain't fucking with me, baby. You gotta stand on. <laughs> I'm standing on you that. Gotta stand on. Okay. <laughs> I stand on that. Watch. Okay. So watch. presidential election, we got <sighs> your Donald Trump. Man, you tough, boy. Come on, man. <laughs> who, who you who you you hoping to win the election? Kamala and Trump, Harris and Trump. You know, some shit was said that really resonate with me. So yeah. it was said to what uh, uh, if you watch a bad movie, then 
uh, you know, why would you want to see a sequel to was already a bad movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I would like to see some fresh blood in the uh, White House. Like, I know a lot of people are afraid because it's a woman running the country. But, uh, like, some got to pop, man. Like, I'm, I'm willing to try anything at this point. <laughs> it's like shit. But I, I am, I am, I'm openly a Democrat. You know, Are you a Democrat? I am. All right, so you ain't, yeah. you ain't gonna open up the Trumps. Um, uh, no way. I, I, next question. <laughs> next question. I'm so, a Democrat. I'm gonna ask you this question. About Diddy, right? Uh-huh. Did you have a feeling anything was going on? In it was like a slow leak that turned into a blowout, man. Like yeah. it was like you heard this, this, and that, and then it was like fucking everything. Like this, this, and that. And they was calling the video, and this motherfucker was fucking this motherfucker, and that's why the wife left. And this, I'm like, what the fuck is this happening? In this whole world, man, that's just how much control. Um. Uh, Certain sit positions you in can be controlled if you not do if you act like you don't want to be controlled no more because there's no way you're gonna tell me this went on for all this time limit and they're just now catching on to it. So it was like, okay, my fuck, you want to buck the system that we built for you? So now we now we about to take we about to destroy you. And you thought you had some power, you're still a peon, and uh, that's why I felt uh, going back to what I was saying earlier why it's important that uh, we establish our own business and start to build off each other and create bosses for ourselves to where we're not in a position to where we down there share our soul and be controlled just to have fortune and fame the things that we all desire. So we need to train, teach and train our own so we can do that. So we can be another Black Wall Street. It's just going to be in Kansas City this time. If I got anything to say about it. Is anything you, else you want to talk about? You want to Send some shot signs you want to send. What's your, your, your email where people can hit you up, check out the music? Charles Bowens on uh, Facebook. Uh, like, I ain't really into that. I'm, I, I, uh, I ain't out at Twitter and all this shit. Like, I got that shit, man. I don't even know it because I don't even be on that shit like that, man. I'll be trying to get to it and get it done. But uh, I want to get some shots out to him. For Bella, uh, Kingpin Creek, uh, Bad News, Dre Money, Bell, uh, man, man, like I said, rest in peace, uh, my Frank Nitty, rest in peace to my Seville from Ghetto Chaos, you know what I'm saying, rest in peace, Lee Joe, uh, Creepy Face. Uh, shit, man, like, damn, man, uh, shots out to my, uh, my Missouri bros, uh, Killer City Kings, uh, like, man, like, a lot of motherfuckers really, you know what I'm saying, came through me, vertigo, um, it's like, man, it was a long way, uh, one way, records, shots out to them, uh, <laughs> still living, cool Rick, cool Rick, cool Rick. still living. Shout out to cool Rick. The bone tone, bone tone, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, for real. Man. man, for real, man. We used to have so much fucking fun, man. I'm gonna close it out. Let you got something else. Uh, I already said, John said, Mr. Killer Secret. Uh, on uh, Little Bro Streets. Hey, man. Hey, all the motherfuckers, uh, 7th Street, 5th Street, 9th Street, 1st Street, 2nd Street, 3rd Street, 5th Street, 4th Street, but it's me, baby, KB, what's up, y'all? Hey, man, shout out to my OG, man, for coming through, man, putting me on, let me be a part of this, man, I really appreciate it, man. It's been a special part of my day. You got, you got anything? Love y'all. 100. Blast go cat with no mask. Slip in my clip and quick and empty it out up in your whole ass. This bitch wears respect and serve these fiends. This rock the propane. Money over bitches. Last man standing. That's for so man. Can't fuck with the click. I'm here. We run it.
this shit don't be mistaken. Hold step on my toes, don't play me close, get your life taken. Then we smash to the hood like clutch, put on the clutch, cause you've been touched. Now your cold body's on the ground with both your hands holding your butt. Now who wanna rock beside this big back king from Wanda County? Say fuckers on making my cheddar and keeping these haters from around and getting paid. Can't open up my spot even though my block's hot. Bitch ass niggas hating on my whole click, they want what I got. So sad, they get the cheddar hating, watching KP. Locko aim and shoot on first to move and try to take. Thank you.